begin our worship for this third Sunday of Easter time with our gathering hymn, This Is My Father's World. It's in the hymn book number 824, but I think many of us know it. And kind of interestingly, uh, earlier this week we had a solar eclipse. Did anyone see that? Okay, yeah, we had our solar eclipse viewer. We were able to take a look at it and uh, put my smartphone up to the solar eclipse viewer. We even got a picture of it. Uh, but interestingly, in the first verse of this song, it talks about the music of the spheres. And uh, so just earlier this week with the solar eclipse, we saw a little bit of God's music of the celestial spheres playing out before our eyes as we're going to sing in this hymn.
share God's peace. Oh my! I'm going to stand up here for this one, okay? Okay. Good morning. How are you today? Are you liking the rain or no? no. <laughs> They're ready for summer, right? Okay. Well, I brought with me this game. Can anyone read this long word here? Dominoes, right. So I'm going to pull some out. Try not to drop them all. That's too far. Okay. So yeah, it would be entertaining. So I'll just take a few of them here. So these are dominoes. You have red ones? Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty much uh, normal dominoes here. And they kind of make a fun noise like that, right? Now, dominoes are really neat. There's lots of different games you can play. A favorite uh, game for our family to play when everyone's together is Cardinal Mexican Train. Has anyone ever played that out there? Uh, yeah, just two? Would, yeah, look it up. It's called Cardinal Mexican Train. It's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, so there is a really interesting game to play with dominoes, by the way. Uh, but one of the things that people really like to do with dominoes is line them up, you know. Yeah. Yep. You can tip them over, and they even do like world record ones where people will set up a bazillion of these things. And in fact, uh, what's that? That's the official number. Yeah, that's the official number of bazillion. Actually, I looked it up, and I think the last record was like over 4 million. Can you imagine 4 million of these things being set up? I do not have that patience for that. By the time I get to number 10, my hand would be going shaking. But, so I'm going to line these up. But the reason I'm talking about dominoes this morning is because uh, in our gospel reading today, Jesus, after his crucifixion, was raised to life, right? We know that. That's his resurrection. And he appeared to his disciples, and they were surprised. They were like, oh my gosh, Jesus, we thought you were dead. Uh, we, we heard uh, some, several of our number went to your tomb and it was empty, but we didn't know. So Jesus appeared to them, and uh, they thought he was a ghost. Did you know that? They thought Jesus was a ghost. And Jesus says, no, I'm not a ghost. I'm resurrected back to life. Does a ghost have flesh and bones like me? He says, here, touch my hands, touch my feet. See where the, the spear went and where the nails went? He was all healed up and he still had the scars of his crucifixion for us. And so they were so surprised. And then they wound up having like a fish dinner together. And certainly ghosts don't eat, right? So Jesus resurrected. And then Jesus said to them something very interesting. He said, I want you to go out to the world. In fact, I'm going to read it right from our bulletin. He says, I want you to go out to the world. And Jesus explained to them. He said, thus it is written. Okay, listen to this, you guys. Jesus says, thus it is written. The Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. So he suffered and died and he rose on the third day. And that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations. So Jesus wants us to proclaim repentance and forgiveness of sins in his name to all the nations and peoples of the world. That's a big job, right? So none of us can do all of that. But we can do it one to one. One person talking to one person talking to one person can tell people about the good news of Jesus. It's good news. Jesus died and is risen. His life, death, and resurrection. And we can tell people that, and we can tell people what Jesus means to each and every one of us. So we need to share it to the world, but we share it one at a time. So just like the dominoes go one at a time, that's what we're doing. We're sharing our faith in Jesus one at a time to each different people one at a time. Okay? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to topple it over, and then maybe you guys can help me pick it up after we pray. Okay? So here we go. This is people sharing about Jesus one person to another. Woo! Hey! It stayed! I thought we going to go everywhere. All right. Put your hands together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the good news of his 
life, death, and resurrection. That he died for our sins on the cross and rose from the grave for our eternal salvation. God, help us to proclaim repentance and forgiveness of sins in his name to all the nations and peoples of the world, one person at a time, one to one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys can go back. <coughs> The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is the feast of victory for our God.
know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. The Lord will hear me when I call. Tremble then, and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices, and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Who will show us any good? Let the light from your face shine upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone. Here ends the psalmody. Thanks be to God. Our second lesson comes from the first book of John, the third chapter. God has loved us in order to make us children of God. Though we do not yet know the full details of our future existence, we trust that God will reveal it, just as God revealed Jesus to take away our sins. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Here ends the second lesson. As you're able, you may rise for our gospel affirmation and the reading of the Holy Gospel.
good one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> you know, American Christians, in particular American Protestant Christians, are, broadly speaking, a little bit misguided about religious faith and spiritual life these days, I think. Far too many American Christians, especially we Protestants, have sadly fallen into the belief that long-standing Christian traditions are repetitive, dull, and uninspired. Now, of course, when traveling to a far-off land on the other side of the globe and visiting some sort of village temple at the time of a thousand-year-old festival observance filled with ancient traditional practices, these same American Christians will often say, Oh, how amazing all these ancient traditions and practices are. And they've been doing this same thing every year for a thousand years. Wow, how wonderful and deeply rooted and spiritual that is. But those very same Americans would walk into a church such as ours and say, How traditional this is. Boring, right? <laughs> Didn't this church do the same thing last year? They really should do something different each year. So, why is it wonderful and deeply rooted and meaningful and spiritual when something has been practiced faithfully and repetitively for thousands of years in some village temple in a far-off land but when it's the local church congregation here in America, then it's so traditional. Yuck. It makes no sense. It's simply inconsistent and misguided, I think. And I think it's a uniquely American mindset that prevents too many people from truly appreciating the deeply rooted inspiration and wonderful meaning of our long-standing Christian traditions, practiced faithfully and repetitively throughout the various seasons of the church calendar each and every year, as we continually repeat our amazing ancient traditions in this local Christian temple called Mount Olive Lutheran Church. But you do the same things every year, they might say. Well, yes, that's the point. That's the point. If you want something different and exciting, then that's what the entertainment industry is for. But if you want something deeper, if you want something deeper and Christ-centered, if you want an annual repetition of meaningful rituals, and spiritual practices, then you don't have to go across the world to Kathmandu to find it. For right here, in this village temple of Mount Olive, we observe over and over again every year our annual sacred traditions of rotating liturgical colors, of four weeks of Advent hymns before the Christmas carols are even sung, of midweek evening prayer services for Advent, of ashes on our foreheads, and 40 days of following the way of the cross during Lent, of palm branches in our hands on Palm Sunday, of stripping the altar bare on Monday Thursday, extinguishing candles on Good Friday, and lighting candles and dressing the altar anew on Easter Vigil, and of a full seven weeks of Easter time, and so on, around and around, year after meaningful year, we faithfully observe these long-standing, ancient, spiritual practices. And frankly, dear brothers and sisters, that's what we really need in today's day and age, despite what our misguided American entertainment culture might tell us. We need our Christ-centered traditions 
and annual observances to keep us grounded in the way of Christ. And that's why I love our Bible lessons all throughout this Eastertide season, especially the ones from the book of Acts. And this is because these readings call us to believe and follow Jesus Christ as the way. The way. In fact, later in chapter 9 of the book of Acts, we hear the church of Jesus Christ described simply as the people of the way. Long before the believers and followers of Jesus were known as Christians, we were simply known as those who belonged to the way. That's Acts chapter 9, verse 2. So as disciples of Jesus, our Savior and Lord, we can be called people of the way. That is, the way of confession of sins, of repentance, of grace and forgiveness, the way of salvation and redemption in Christ Jesus. And this is just as we hear today in Luke 24. As I shared with the kids in the children's message today, Jesus says, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem and to the rest of the world. You are witnesses of these things. In other words, we are the people of the way of repentance and forgiveness of sins in Jesus' name. We are the people of the path of repentance and forgiveness of sins in Jesus' name. We are the people of the journey of repentance and forgiveness of sins in the name of Jesus. So, we are a pilgrim people of God's grace and truth on this lifelong pilgrimage from the womb to the cradle, from the cradle to the grave, and from the grave to our heavenly home. In Christ, we are no longer wandering nomadic souls, but we are a part of the great pilgrim community of Jesus Christ, a community that gathers together each week throughout the Sundays and seasons of the church calendar year to faithfully observe together our ancient Christ-centered traditions in order to repeatedly recall the mighty saving acts of the Lord our God through the life, death, and resurrection of His dear Son, Jesus. And as we repeatedly travel this sacred annual cycle of congregational life together, we draw ever closer to our ultimate fulfillment someday in the universal kingdom of God for all nations and peoples, thanks be to God. In the name of of the risen one. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you're able, you may rise. In response to the good news of Jesus Christ that we've heard this third Sunday of Easter time, let us confess our Christian faith with our creed of faith. Brothers and sisters, what do we believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for the prayers of the church. Rejoicing this day that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear. Let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. O oh God the Holy One, you feed our deep. 
deepest hungers. As we share the holy meal, that is the body and blood of Jesus, given for us in bread and wine, lead us to share all that we have and find abundant life in our generosity. God of grace. O oh God, the Creator, you bring forth all life on earth. Bring water to parched places and protect fragile ecosystems. God of grace. O oh God, the Savior, you offer wisdom and guidance beyond all human knowledge. Instruct lawmakers, judges, and elected officials to make decisions grounded in your justice and care for all people. God of grace.
thanks to the Lord our God.
Yeah.